A super group with five people, I would choose Axel Rose, Ow. John Lennon, mm -hmm. Neil Peart. Oh yes. Should we put Janis Joplin in there? Janis Joplin. We're going to need a bit of doom doom doom. Doom 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 doom. Flea. Oh. Wow. Oh. You heard it, Ben wants Flea. And Bob Marley and vocals. Craziest gig I've ever been to was probably Pantera at the Glasgow Barrowlands back in the day, in like the 1990 canteen. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was just insane. The pit was absolutely insane and I was young, impressionable and it left a hell of an impression. My superpower would be flying because it's, it's the one that I think has least suspicious motivations. I used to think I wouldn't be invisible, but then that's just been a creep. <laughs> so I want to fly. <laughs> you boys? I'd like to be able to speak properly. <laughs> yeah, that is that a superpower. Great superpower. Um, bend um, space and time for me. That'd be good. Uh, my go-to karaoke song would probably be Rock Set. It must have been Love. Lay a whisper nice. on my pillow. I don't need karaoke. I do it right fucking now. I've only ever done karaoke once and it was I heard it through the grapevine and I was about 13. I nice. don't know where that came from. But Levi's. That's where I'd be at, yeah. Um, Bill's on Parade. Oh yeah. Bridge Against the Machine. Like well-known <laughs> karaoke <laughs> classic. Karaoke Class classic. Everyone, classic. Everyone's go-to, innit? <laughs> <laughs> eh, my spirit animal would probably be a uh, lemur. Nice. No explanation required. Oh. Mm. I'd, I'd take a lion, just because I'm ginger, I think. Uh, I'll just go dolphin, because they're highly <laughs> intelligent. <laughs> A drummer that's highly intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> One of my favourite albums of all time is called Frames and Canvas by a band called Braid, and it's just a beautiful indie rock record from like the late nineties or something. And it was a big record for the three of us, and that's one of the least, most underrated records of all time. I think Bad by Michael Jackson is one that just doesn't really get doesn't really get the credit. It's that just it deserves. passed people just, by. Nobody really seemed to hear about it, and I don't really know why. Great songs, you know. Anything by a band called Mineral who had a massive influence on us, but nobody knows who they are.